to the step down, I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 movement. And this is a very special episode of the step down. Today, as promised, I brought the man himself, Remedy. Here in the building. Remedy has come down and fought with us. Shout out to him. Appreciate you so much, sir, for coming down, fucking with it. Um, I felt like I needed you on this show because I got my own way of doing what we about to do. Mm -hmm. And you got the right way. Uh, no, I'm saying it's, it's a way. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Is it a a, a right way to do a prison brick? No, nah, not for real. You know what I'm saying? It's the best way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. everybody that do it feel like they do it the best. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like I do it the best. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just for the shit experience a nigga that had. Yeah. You know and, what I'm saying? and you know, and the thing is this right here. When I um, I think what sparked this was I sent you a picture of a doo wop. Right. A motherfucking doo wop. Right. A nigga had. We can doo wop and, too. And, but to me, it you know, maybe y'all out there don't know what we talking about. Today we're going to be making a prison brick burrito. I didn't heard it be called a spread. Yeah. yeah. What else? Uh, I don't on the show. I what goulash? I don't heard them call it a bunch of You know what I'm saying? Shit. But pretty much what it is is when you go to jail, you get noodles, and um, you get some water, and pretty much that's all you need. That that's a that's a pole man. Some people consider. If all you have is chips and noodles, that's a po' man uh, brick. Yeah. But I feel like if you got chips, nigga, you ain't no po' man. Like, know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's the chip. You I mean, you, you can ask somebody for You don't need a whole bag. You can ask somebody yeah. for a little, little few chips and to make, make your brick. To lock me it, up. To lock it up and to give it flavor. Because yeah. there's a lot of different ways you can make that motherfucker lock up with no flavor. Facts. Corn and, and, bread. Oh, man. Bean. <laughs> but some of the shit be good. What we're gonna teach y'all today, what we're gonna teach y'all today is how to um survive on a budget. Real talk. A budget. Real talk. If something because I think it's important because y'all be asking why the fuck we talking about prison shit and why we I know that when I came out the street in 2016 that don't mean that everything is good from that point. That just means right. that you stop adding on to your bullshit. I had warrants. I had fines to pay. I had, the, you know, a probation that I was still on. It was just, you know, it was crazy and it had to be handled. So it's going to be a time where you got to call Bay, uh, Baldwin County. You got to call Fairhope. You got to call Sarah Land. You got to call all these places. Hey, do I still got that warrant? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And try to get it handled. Right. Um, and once you start facing your problems, you know, sometimes motherfuckers, all they want is for you to pay. So it might be a warrant, but you might be able to pay. But the the, the, the whole thing is, once you're done doing crime, go ahead and handle your business. Go ahead and handle your business because as long as you're looking over your shoulders, you it's going yeah, to fuck your mind up. Being on the run, fuck your mind up. Like a nigga, a nigga way of thinking is, I'm on the run anyway. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that right. just bring anything. Fuck. fuck everything. I'm on the run anyway. And and really, you on the run for some bullshit at the max. You might get six months. You know what I'm saying? And fuck around and catch a real charge. And catch a real fucking charge. While you on the run, yeah. Cause you doing desperate shit. Yep, yeah, you doing desperate shit because you can't get no job. You extra paranoid. You trying to cope with this shit by getting and more. Instead of having to spend money. Oh yeah, you you steady, you gonna have to spend money because your mind ain't right. Like a nigga not gonna be sober on the run. <laughs> nigga not gonna be sober on the run. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because in order to deal with the fact that any day you could be going to that place. Nigga, you need something to soften that reality up. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, the three S's, in order to get to that place, I don't want you to do the three S's while you're on the run. Set this shit up so that you don't have to get some momentum going and then stop. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're going to be blaming the three S's for you going to jail. My nigga, you had a warrant. <laughs> You ain't been to court yet. How the fuck is it the three S's fault, my nigga, that you already did? So I'm getting you prepared and letting you know it's ways to get around the roughness of being incarcerated. Um, after two weeks, 
You're going to get used to the program and all that shit like that. And uh, I'm going to show you, we're going to show you how to make it on a budget. Mm. Um, the, the, the blessed part about uh, turning yourself in, if you call down a place and they say, we need you to turn, your, we need you to, you know, uh, turning yourself in, the good part is, you know when you're going to do it. It's going to be on your terms. Right. It's going to be on your terms. So now, okay, hopefully you can come to your family and say, hey, I'm turning myself in. That alone should make their mind go like, what the fuck going on with him? He turned himself in. He known to, he not finna, you know what I'm saying? He don't face his problems. He run from them. And you, know? you can prepare before you go in there. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, but I'm saying that's, that's who gonna give them the money. Like, mm -hmm. that's who gonna give you the money. Like, all right, so you turn yourself in. Okay, well, we're gonna try to keep some money on the books for you. I mean, if you turn yourself in, you turn yourself in on your own terms so you can actually come prepare in a whole nother type of way what you, you mean? know what i'm saying because you coming in on your own terms so that mean i'm bringing myself to y'all so they're not gonna be it's not gonna be such a hostile situation it's gonna be you turn yourself in they're gonna call the officer to come but guess what the whole time if you done been there before you know what it is and you know what it takes to survive you can take one little Half a strip of Sabaja. You can take one little twitty sheet. <laughs> you can take a gram of weed and go in that bitch and, and got you fifty dollars. If you get that bitch in that good, you'll go. You'll be the man. The game's the way. The game's the way. Real but talk. I, I was, but and that's real talk. He, he let me know some real shit. Now, obviously, I can't tell you to do that. But w what I'm saying is, I know I'm not talking to ducks. You know what right. I'm saying? I know y'all ain't no ducks out there. For those of y'all who ain't. You know, as street savvy and shit like that, um, just try to keep up because you know niggas still got that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas still got that in their mind. So it like ain't no way that I can bring up a situation like this without him saying, you know, what could happen. That's what's like, really you know what going on. Like, I mean, like it's white, a white, piece. yeah, it, white drawers, white socks, white t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason for you to be turning yourself in. And you don't got no, and you, they, nigga, when you walk to the back, you ain't got no motherfucking socks and no drawers. Right. Nigga, you know you gotta have all <laughs> white drawers and all white socks. So why the fuck is you walking in the jail with, you know what I'm saying, with, with baller socks and some just red, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you know what the fuck going on. And the shit go, it go on. You can take that same mentality and apply it to what I just said. Mm -hmm. You know what they want in there, you know what they gonna pay for in there. And once you done been in there before, you know what they gonna do but and how you gonna do But if you don't know what the fuck he told me, don't even worry about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't even worry Just about it. Up. Because straight you up. gonna fuck it up. You trying to- You gonna uh, fuck you know yourself up. Promote prison contraband, nigga. Oh yeah, you it's a charge man? now you get caught. If you know what he told me, then you need it. You then you know what you gonna do. Exactly. That, that, and, and he ain't talking about nigga. If, if you ain't know, I ain't no gonna tell you how to no get prison. it in there. Hell no. You gotta do that yeah. on your own. I'm just you know he ain't let you know. No, I'm saying if you can like, get it from in there, I hear it in there. You know what I'm saying? He he he, he talking about being prepared. You know what I'm saying, nigga? If you scared to put some up your ass and shit like that, this, this ain't even what nigga told me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't put on my ass though. Huh? You know, I gotta put up your ass. Now you trying to hit me with the goddamn I'm just the saying, I'm trying to goddamn <laughs> watch Ricky Jenny Juice. Yeah, if I, if I goddamn fuck a nigga in the head, I'll fuck a nigga. <laughs> oh, 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 Hell oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> but nah, nigga, so I'm, but you know, it, it do come time in the street, nigga. Well, nigga, it'll be like that. Like, nigga, I didn't have to do that shit before, right? I'll now. put it between my booty cheeks now, but I ain't gonna put it in my booty hole. I, what I'm saying is. Sorry, but I, I I couldn't let the camera go out on that note. <laughs> uh, nigga, when I uh, when they got me in Robbendale, um, who fucking car was I driving? But I had fucking like twelve or thirteen. Was it Ross? You remember them uh them little pills that uh what's the name had? Um, Careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there was he had all that shit. He was and he had, yeah, yeah, he had all them hoes. Uh, the yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but I had about like 12, 13 of them hoes, and goddamn, Robert Dale pulled me over. Was that when I was in the car with goddamn Alonny Little Brother? Ali. When y'all coming up that bitch to scoop me? We had just dropped you off. Damn sure did. Because I, I don't think, I know I ain't have a car in them days. No, nah, that was Alec. That was that nigga. Yep. All right, we had got him. He went and dropped me off at uh at the little spot in Robertsville yeah, behind yeah. the, yeah. Yeah, right in that little neighborhood and shit. Uh -huh. So, goddamn, 
and it wasn't nothing but open field out there, bitch, so I couldn't hit on them, so I had the goddamn, but I'm trying to tell you something. What I'm trying to tell you right here is you can play that goddamn ass cheek shit and nigga, and that, hey, why are you walking like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had fucking 13 goddamn Roxy. Yeah. Nigga, that's a goddamn, nigga, the fuck? So I, I don't play that game. So, my nigga, and that's another thing I'm telling you, nigga, if you in the street, nigga, you play that shit pretty you want to. You play it pretty you want to, and then it happened to you out this bitch. You just ain't that with So you never I really. did 14 days in that bitch. You know you, what I'm saying? You went in there with him, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. But see, the thing, you you ain't never like, <laughs> nigga done been through that shit so fucking much. Yeah. But you, yeah, you just put them hoes between your booty cheeks and walk normal. It ain't gonna even fall out. No, I... You're not finna put, nigga, you're gonna have to squeeze. Like, you finna have you to squeeze. You don't gotta squeeze. That's and, what I'm trying and, to tell and, and, you. And I'm, try, and I'm trying to tell you that, nigga, you put that shit in between your, your, your ass cheeks and you start walking, that shit can fall at any time. If you don't know, bro, if you put that if shit in. If you right, don't know. Well, I'm telling you. you saying, I'm saying, you saying what? You saying that you can goddamn, it's a way to. Man, you ain't got. You don't gotta keep ass, your booty. man. Look, dude, we got, we got, the, we got the executive producer back. That motherfucker dying and shit. But we gotta get this damn video out. Uh, we, but y'all make sure y'all remind us to get that comment, that debate back on because right. yeah, I, I want to tell you about that. But what we finna make today is um a a, a, a burrito or a brick that you would make um if. By just any night, this, this a regular, yeah, it's a regular, regular night. This a, this celebration. This, this not no celebration. Yeah, regular this night, man. This, this ain't survival. This they survival. serve child. They serve the last meal. Maybe six o'clock. So you got to think they don't lock down to nine. Might if you got late night, might be ten, eleven, something like that. You back hungry again? Yeah. You ain't had number one slicer, uh, mystery meat, some mashed potatoes, a little slot of beans. You know what I'm saying? And some mixed fruit. So you back home again at yep. nine, ten o'clock. When they call yep. lockdown, you get in the cell. This what go on. Yep. This what we at. You know this what I'm saying? Right here. And um, and that's really you can pick up a lot of bad habits there because obviously you ain't supposed to goddamn eat right before you go to sleep. But that's right. how you fall asleep in that bitch. Right. Sleep is that fucking precious in that hole, man. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get started with you. Um. This right here. You know what I'm saying? That good coffee. I, I like nigga. That's I, the crap. I ain't I ain't fuck with coffee until I went to jail and shit like that. But nigga, this, this shit dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it is dope. What it is. Yeah, they ain't gonna get the morning started without they cup. Hell yeah, no. Nah. So what the, the item that we have here today? Uh, well, we don't obviously. I know we don't know how to do no fucking cook show. So nigga, we gonna do it how we do it. We got the water. We know we are gonna need the water. We got our extra bowl. We got uh, we got our flavor. Um. But we got everything off the stove list. So show them all the, the, the receipts and shit like that so they can understand. So every week in there, you know, you get to put in for a stove. Put in on it for a Tuesday and it hit you Friday. So you know what I'm saying? Every one of these represent a week that a nigga done been in there and this just show a them small one, Show them one on. Like short. You can't zoom in on it. Obviously zoom in. Yeah, you did that shit quickly. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, read yeah it. I was just gonna read it off on, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got your noodles. Cajun chicken ramen, jalapeno cheddar Cheetos, sweet and sour cream cheddar chips. What you got? You some nuts, some onion petals. Hold on, and he gonna go. He gonna read y'all the list more and explain what's going on with that after we start busting some shit down because right. we gotta read that. All right. So the first thing that we wanna do um, is once you got your suit, you got your suit, whatever like that. Whatever it be, your stove came, or you know what I'm saying, you just got in there, whatever like that, it's hard time. Which actually, we're not talking about no hard time when you first come in. We talking once you get rolling. Yeah. You, you been there once you're able to get your stove. Yeah, once you're able to get your stove, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if we talking about when you first walk in the door, nigga, you just got you a suit, that's what you want. Everything you know what out saying? the love. You know what yeah, mean? nigga, bless you down. So now we talking once you got your shit together, you got your pickle, you got your, your, your you know what I'm saying? You got your summer sausage, you know what I'm saying? And that's really all we rocking with. Right. If we gonna go extravagant, but we not, we trying a normal day. Exactly. A normal night, you know what I'm saying? Matter of no fact, we even gonna, we even gonna, we gonna even uh, make the situation uh, as if we gonna use something off the tray. And you say you had exactly. some beans? Exactly, a normal night. Like, so this day y'all had that cat meat and on the side, your side was beans and shit like that. 
what you gonna do with that? You not gonna fuck with that cat meat. Cat meat is gonna fuck up the grease in that shit and in, mm -hmm. in a whatever the, the the cat that's in that motherfucker finna fuck up the whole your shit not gonna lock. It's not gonna form up. It's gonna fight against your chip. Your chips is your locking agent. So what we gotta do is what can we put in this month? Every night, every day, that's what you're looking at. All throughout the day. Every tray. A lot of fucking jails is going to this bullshit where they feed you out bags Man. every goddamn day. Three meals a day. Orange. Uh, sandwich. Uh, uh, the sandwich. But it's not no sandwich. No, This ain't no sandwich right here, man. This is a fucking <laughs> nigga mystery. Remember, remember one time they hit a nigga with yeah. a piece of bologna and one piece of bread just had that bit folded in half? Man. I don't remember that. When they had the diabetic snacks? You know, you know the get diabetic, get the, we ain't get it, but nigga yeah. older nigga. So nigga oh, come yeah. with the diabetic sandwich, that'd be one piece of bread and a piece of bologna yeah. and just folded in Di half. Yeah, diabetic. You go in there and tell them you diabetic and shit like that, and I think you get an extra meal, don't you? You get that extra bag? Yeah, extra bag. You know what I'm saying? But not, but no, I'm trying like, now they feeding everybody out the bag throughout the day. So uh, let's say this day, y'all, it was all you had was some beans. So now we got some beans. We're going to show y'all how to integrate. Um, the meal off the tray or shit off the tray into the brick. Your brick. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break down our um go ahead break down our soup. Now he gonna show you, you know what I'm saying, how to rock out. How to break down. When I'm doing like this here, this is just this is because like nigga, we talking and shit like that. You know what right. I'm saying? We talk I'm just I'm just rocking out, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You in the cell, just whatever. You know what I'm saying? He, he breaking his down. That, that's when you he doing it fast. Throw. He ain't got to spike him. See there? He Just doing a light it. little drop. He doing it the fast way. You know what I'm saying? He going the fast way. I'm just rocking out. And another thing, man. On these receipts right here, you don't got to spend no $50 every time you draw the show. You know what I'm saying? Yep. What we're showing you is how you can take $10 or $15 and it's going to get you through a whole week. Mm -hmm. To get to the next time, yep. so you get fifty dollars. That damn near lasts you a month. If you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna make this shit easier on your family. That's more. That, that's more what I'm telling you about. It, like when you get locked up, it's not just you being locked up. Unless right. you didn't burn all the bridges. Yeah, then Unless you didn't burn all the, then you in that bitch by yourself. I done been like that before. You know what I'm saying? It, it get like that. You know what I'm saying? When you out here fucked up like that. Oh. Uh, we, uh, we didn't need we didn't need two of we need two of we good on that mm -hmm. but uh that's our okay so now after you get that bus down now he gonna take it to the next step and time for the chip everything we usually do all this before we begin the cooking you got the prepping process this is where this is where the whole substance of your brick come in whether you're gonna see if you know something or not you know what i'm saying when you prepping this gonna make the end part of it easy. If you prep everything right, at the end you just mixing, adding you some water, and letting it sit. Done deal. Done deal. Yep. So, uh, what he finna do now, obviously he got the summer sausage, mm -hmm. and usually, because we eating out this motherfucker, this is gonna be in a motherfucking a cup with a little top on top of it. Yeah. Same thing with yeah. your pickle. And your pickle ain't gonna come in like this. We had to get this because they ain't had no hot pickle. You're gonna have your pickle the same way. One pickle. And, and, it, and it's one pickle. It's one hot pickle. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, these already cut up, but it's gonna be one hot pickle, and you just cut out that motherfucker. Cut you out a little cut bit out piece. that motherfucker. Cut you a piece out that this motherfucker. This summer sausage right here, this for the whole week. Shit, you. Yeah. Whole week. So, Shit, both of yeah. us, we gonna make our brick, and we'll still have a summer sausage to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You need to tell. Oh, damn, so what you supposed to tell me? Oh, tell them about the bag. Nah, you oh, break down about the oh, dishes. Oh, all right. So here it is. Now, as far as what you finna be making this shit in, you gon' and see, we had to go get. You gon' have bags. We had to get use whatever bag we could, but you gon' have. You gonna do the same that, thing, whatever yeah. bag you can. You, chip bag. You gonna have. You gonna do the same thing. You gonna have a chip bag like this. These chip bag. These chip right here is the best chips. These the best chip right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because it's gonna give you spice. It's gonna lock. You know what I'm saying? And why you why you fucking around and shit like that? You can eat you a few of them. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, yeah, what the hell? Oh man, that man crazy. You did the same man. thing with the soup on the side. Yeah, motherfucker. All right. So, guess what? But ultimately, all them bags is gonna come into this one piece of garbage can. Bang. This is a piece of a garbage bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. 
Oh, you gonna put your garlic back. You gonna take a garlic back and cut that hole into a square. And you want this square to be big enough to work with. These are your dishes. Now, when, when you get the shit that you mix, the shit that you crunch up your chips in, and you put your um your crushed up noodles in and shit like that, that's gonna be a sturdy bag that you do not have to wash out if you don't want to. It's gonna be flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? It'll be flavor. But when we get done with these, the pieces of garbage bag, we all gonna have to wash that out every night. And that's what you put on your clothesline. Now, you're not supposed to have the garbage bag. This is um, contraband. This is definitely contraband. Um, but at the end of the day, the most they're gonna do to you is take your bag and get you, or might lock you down in your cell, but you're not going to Elf Block or 1000 if you're in um, Metro. Metro. Um, so now, as he cutting up the, uh, he's doing prep right here, and he also gonna do prep on the pickle. He gonna do prep on that also. So, what we finna do is, I'm finna to pour the correct amount for two soup, for two bricks into here. He gonna have one soup, he gonna have a brick of noodle, I'm gonna have a brick of noodle. So that means he get a bag, I get a bag. When I'm saying a bag, I mean, a, a serving of a uh, soup. So here you go. I'm gonna pour enough in there, enough in there, enough in there. Now, if you if you looking for a nigga to tell you exactly how many Cheetos or what weight, you then you on the wrong, you on the wrong fucking channel, my yeah, nigga. You gotta fill it out. Like got, some people got, like more yeah. cheese. Uh huh. Some people like you know to taste more noodle, uh -huh. more meat. That's you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. This nigga already fucking up because the goddamn pieces too damn big. I want my pieces big. You Why don't you chop them up small so it can just be a surprise? I, don't, I want to be in there. Like, we depending on this meat. That, that's a big ass piece, though. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, we bought them like, right now. This man, we had also a $50 store I'm, coming I'm, in. I'm saying, why don't you come up small so that they'll, they'll go better cohesion with the, with the, with the. Bro, but I cook better than you, so how you gonna get me? Yeah, it is. Now, he, now, that's another thing that you're gonna have when you're in the jail. You're gonna have a lot of crazy people. A lot of crazy people. You do not want to be in the cell with no crazy person. You know what I'm saying? At this point, he acting like we down there in 1000 or we in the medical way. Nigga talking crazy. I cook better than you. What kind of shit is that? Obviously, we know he's talking crazy. So what we got to do is we got to move forward. And then when you're in jail, somebody <laughs> stay on crazy. Just keep your head down. Stay focused. Keep your head down. Stay focused. Crush up your goddamn ship. That's all I do. Just keep, just keep, just keep crushing. I'm just you can crushing. add some more to it once you crush them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, this is do what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And it, this is, and hit. I'm gonna tell you about some cell etiquette as we breaking it down. Man. Now, me and him in the cell, whatever like that. Obviously, we come from the street. We co-defendants and shit like that. So we got a lot to talk about and shit like that. Now, if somebody, if, if the jail overcrowded and shit like that, and somebody, uh, they, we get a we get a cellmate in that motherfucker. Now, this ain't this ain't. No regular nigga. This 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 a this like a, a nigga that's broken shit like that. He fucked up. Now it's on us to decide. He he fucked up. He coming the door. He ain't got nothing going on, you know. But he ain't but he ain't flexing like he got nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he, ain't, he ain't in that hole. He ain't in that hole like nigga. Shit, my store coming in bit there. Now I'm I'm gonna turn up on him, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He did quiet the whole time. Mm -hmm. He did quiet the whole time. And you know, and we read them like he just uh it's just a little nigga, you know, probably in there for stealing the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Call people some shit Breaking like that. Houses. Yeah. So, you know, it's on us to decide, uh, understand that money rule. If both of us the reason why you go in with and this saying if me and him wasn't homeboys from the street, me and him is just niggas who've been cellmates for a while. He makes stove, I make stove. So now this is our program every night. Every night mm -hmm. we make a brick together. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And this, <coughs> and this is really how you want your cellmate to be. Because it's cheaper. Because 
Yeah, not not even just that, but you want a cellmate to where this is how you gonna do your time. Like we eat together, we yeah. sleep together, we go out this bitch, and so that and that way it's understood. If anything, anything else happens, ain't no question. Anything go on on the yard is is it, it's already there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got sometimes you in the cell with a motherfucker and they'll eat on you, and they go back to my goddamn point about the motherfucking little dude, little dude coming there, and it's on us to say, shit, you wanna pee? You know what I'm saying? At the end or whatever like that. And depending on how he take that, he said, I appreciate it, thank you. You know what I'm saying? He go to sleep, he don't say nothing. And then we peeping him on the yard also. Nigga, if he out there on the yard with, with, with niggas and shit like that, you know, talking and, and whooping and he just got a big boisterous attitude, then he come in the cell and he just be quiet and shit like that. <laughs> Nigga might not want a goddamn, yeah, uh, exactly. you know, what's up with you? Like, it, it's throwing exactly. me off. It throw me off now, but if he did out down on the yard, he humble, like, you know what I'm saying? He did sit, he don't fuck with nobody. Nigga, we'll goddamn even partake in conversation with him and see what's going on. That's how you, you read know what I'm saying? That, that's that what's going on. But, um, other than that, nigga just doing their time. Nigga but, doing their time. Ain't on no friendly shit, bro. No. Like, you got, no. I gotta really have a vibe and fuck with you, see how you going, because yeah. I'm watching. You know what I'm saying? You might not know I'm watching. I'm going to be back this bitch mm -hmm. just like I was, working, doing my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm paying attention. Yep. Nigga got to feel your vibe. If mm -hmm. not, bro, I mean, we all grown in this bitch. I don't feel sorry for no nigga. Ooh, that's going to be something else, too. Like, my nigga, if you get into a sale with somebody, like, with that little nigga, that's that little car burglar right there, with that shit, you're like, my nigga, that's a little boy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. you know, but it, like I said, if he if he a little boy and he act like a little boy on the yard, he did a little, don't know what the fuck going on, that mean, all right, we're going to give you some food and then we're going to give you some mental food Facts. also. School you a little bit. We're going to give you some mental Especially food. Especially when it's your first time, you know it's somebody's no, first it, time. No, it ain't, it ain't going to be a first time, but it just, you, he still, he just a little nigga. Like, he just, you know, this probably, he probably ain't caught, he probably already a felon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He already fucked up on a felon. So now. Yeah, yeah. You, you back here with us, you had to get a felon. Yeah, but it, but it ain't, oh yeah, we in C block. Like, <laughs> we, yeah, we, we back yeah. here. But nigga still, it, I was actually beat nigga first time. No, nah, oh, but if it, it's whatever charge you had to call. It's gonna have to be serious enough for you to be in high match. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't gonna steal a car. You had to have a felony somewhere on your shit to get in high match. Yep, yep. Show domestic violence, strangulation. You gotta have something that's gonna boost yep. that bitch. Yep. This yeah. ain't the felony block we talking about. Felony block is all the way up there, goddamn nigga. H and, and O and all that shit. We trying to high match where it's like you know what I'm saying. You got and this where you gonna go if you got a violent crime period point blank. You got a violent crime on your no, shit. No, you, you were talking about we ain't going to the misdemeanor block. Felony no, I block. Said I was, uh, I you said we ain't in the felony block. We not in the felony block. This is how man. This how man here. That's nothing yeah, but see, felony. See, I, it's a different kind of. Nigga was in O block and, and people I had felonies. Nigga, O block was the medical way. That's why. I'm not talking about it, O block in particular. I'm talking about, nigga, the block up there, RST. They just not violent. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So this ain't the felony block. Not the heavy felony, cause get what? That's what I'm saying. Cause for a trafficking, get where you coming? High max. That's a violent crime. That's violent. High violent. They consider it violent. That's them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's just about that. But understand, if you an old man, you a minute and a half. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. They need. Uh, you need to let them. Uh, you come. You come. Yeah, come that way. So they can. Um, so you know. Yeah. It's fine. Um. What we gonna do is uh, what we gonna um let y'all see right here is uh if you grown if you grown um no nigga owe you nothing you know what I'm saying you too old to be so the the love that the uh what it doing okay um. Uh, the love that a nigga might show, obviously you're not gonna, and that's another thing. Obviously you're not gonna have no knife up in that bitch, so you're gonna be no. goddamn. You know what I'm saying? When the Raiders come in at four in the morning from Baldwin County, anybody that's going into Baldwin County, it was a fast minute. Mm -hmm. How long you put on there for? Yeah, yeah, give, give, give it, give it, give it a. <laughs> She so fun. Uh, give it a uh, two a minutes, minute. three minutes. No, she no. Give it a you, minute. You can't overcook seconds. them all, huh? You can't overcook them all. Yeah, give it a minute and forty-five seconds. Can't overcook them, baby. Okay, so um, uh, what what what? So you gonna have to uh, tell me the radio. 
Razors come in four in the morning for anybody in there that want to shave. We talking county jail. Once you get to prison, it's easy to get a razor. There's nothing to get a razor. Mm -hmm. I don't, they barely, I don't, they not even contraband in prison. Mm -hmm. But in the county, they still contraband. Mm -hmm. So when they come in to shave, you don't get the razor. We might make that another episode. We'll show them how to bust down the razor. That's a whole goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Bust down razor, little razor about this big. You know heard the razor in the comb, hair cut, it's the same razor. Mm -hmm. Same razor they cut hair with. You get there and that'll be your knife. Probably be about this long, about this long. And you gonna hold that bitch like this and you gonna work with that thing. You know what I'm saying? Rock out. That's how it work. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is our lovely executive producer, Basha. Mm-mm, tell me man. All right. So, um, where the other one? Oh, I, I, you just took mine. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get. Uh, okay, I, I'm just gonna. Right, you got the chips in there. Mm -hmm. You got some good crunch action. Yeah, yeah. Where the other? Give me the other bag. Uh, you, you cut, Why you cut on top of that? Because I didn't want to cut on here and cut it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You done cutting? Mm -hmm. I want you that shit now. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> You got a little clean out rag. You know, gotta have your little rag. I'm gonna got to clean your fingers out. Dealing with these. Oh yeah, we good. Dealing with people's food. We don't need a little more on him. So, go ahead and, and show them about your, uh, the receipts and shit like that so they know what kind of menu they fucking with. You know what that ain't? No. Yeah. Good. Once again, like I'm telling you, dog, I don't see why you got them big ass chumps like that, dog. Uh, okay. No, no, my fault. Okay. Oh, you, okay. Man, this man oh, yeah. is crazy. I'm just saying, like you, you, you it's like you, it seems like you like fucking up a lot action, like it's them big ass pieces. But I already know what's going on. Okay, okay, yeah. Go ahead, show them the receipts. So they can All see. right. So these are as I was saying, you don't gotta come in there and go broke trying to impress this nigga or that nigga. Mm -hmm. The whole object we talking about today is survival. If I can eat me one brick every night, I'm good. I ain't gotta have no four suits, three bags of chips. I just need me something to put on my stomach for a nigga lay it down. So these, put these six bed. right here, they gonna average you $20. Show them, you gotta, you gotta put it in front of the camera. $10 right here. This right here, this a real, where a nigga survive. They got the budget on, let me see what, it, got the total. Oh yeah, this is right at the end. I can get back on the bed. As I was saying, this a receipt, normal receipt. Just to get a nigga buy for a week, ten dollars store. Ten dollars store. It ain't gonna come with nothing but six noodles, four chips, five chips. Six noodles, five chips. That'll get a nigga through a week. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was in survival mode. Nigga say, I know I'll be able to get a suit from somebody somewhere during the week. You Hold know on, what I'm let me ask you. Mm -hmm. How much bigger was your chip than this? They were smaller than that. Obviously. I'm asking, what side with it? Uh, so what that one? The one, uh, the ounce and a half bag. So it, shit, a little bit bigger than this, maybe about right here. They one like the one in the counter. No, which one? The ones in the counter. In prison? Yeah. Oh no, nah, they little bag. Smaller than one. Yeah, counter. little bag. Okay. Like this. That one, like, why yeah, the fuck you get so many goddamn chips? Yeah, little bag. That's what I'm saying. But shit, that a little bag like that should be two suits. Well, yeah. little bag like that. No, a little bag like that is just one suit. Bullshit. And see, he went too ham with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he pulled it. Nah, uh-uh. Nigga. Bad like that, you can get two bricks out of that. So for every yeah, one, yeah, so I mean, for every could. one chip, every one chip. Yeah, you could. With that, with that, with that side but that, you, ain't gonna do that to, you ain't gonna do that to a day or two before store run. When well, you yeah. down to the last of the last and you surviving, you gonna bust a chip in half. But if you can make it through. But why? You said why? That's what we talking about right now. Cause I mean, like as you as you making these hoes, you gonna that's get used to that's eating that's them that's how you eat them. That ain't gonna hurt nothing though. What ain't? You got a chip bag bigger than this, and you you putting that whole thing in the suit. Cause when you crush them all down, boy, it's gonna be that much chip. Man, stop playing. It's not gonna be that much. Man, you know, you hell. crazy. You must not be giving the right uh, idea for it. If, if no, nah, hell no. Nah. But but see, that's another thing. Like you finna see, you see how I keep on putting chips in this motherfucker. This shit, finna, but a nigga not finna need all the chip. I'm just no. putting it down because sometimes you might, you might, and see, but that, that's that's kind of dangerous too. Like a nigga giving you some pre, some pre-crushed chips. 
Nah, you just you get a little mean? handful from a nigga mm-hmm. and go crunch them up yourself. Yeah. You right there, don't even have them, have them crunched to the max, for real. You could just. That's why I'm telling you, that's all you need. Like, nigga, yeah. I got a bag like that, you could know what I'm saying? Nigga, give you a handful of chips. You can go lock your soup well, up I'm with gonna it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I, I wish you it, it was a way I can yeah, show you. Around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to see that. This for another date. Mm-hmm. Bam. Yeah, that like locked the soup up right there. Bam. But and me, I like bam. more cheese, though. I like more cheese, and that should be on me. Yeah, so. Bam. Uh-huh. Bam. And prison niggas, they, they know what's going on right now. Prison niggas tell you, shit, I got nigga, that's how. Nigga tell you, he need, <laughs> but that right there, shit, that's too much. Man, yeah, what? Well, you talking about a good fiesta there? Ooh. On a personal page? Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that would have. All right, so Ben, we got everything put down, but show them how many you had though for week for week, and tell them how you had to order. There's a place up there. When you walk in up front, this prison now. Mm-hmm. You walk up front when you go into the child hall or whatever. Sometimes they'll bring them to the dorm once a week on your Monday or Tuesday, whatever day. So slips, you know what I'm saying? And when they come in. Nobody gonna force you to do shit. You know what I'm saying? If you got money, you know if you got money on your shit or not. You gonna grab you one of them slips, and that bitch gotta be in by a certain time. If not, you gotta wait till the next week. What time? What, what's the time frame you got? Uh, I wanna say like, they gotta be in by one o'clock, two, before two o'clock count. So on Tuesday is when y'all run y'all, when y'all turn in y'all store slip, they all gotta be turned in for Tuesday at one o'clock. If the bitches ain't turning in for Tuesday, you won't be getting that shit fried. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you get that at Tuesday at 2.30, you was goddamn lifting weights at 1 at the end, you forgot about it, you dead. You dead. You're going to have to know somebody. You're going to have to know mm. somebody that work in the store that can make something happen for you. But if you knew, you dead. You know what I'm saying? So each one of these is one week. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a small little portion. So... This is imagine how the weeks go by, nigga sweating stove slip after stove slip after stove slip after stove. And these holidays, these motherfucking birthdays, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's all about survival, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if you got somebody fucking with you on the outside, you stand a better chance in them. Definitely. Definitely. So keep that in mind. I could get down, stop that, pick that cane up and hit him on the head with it. Just tap him. Just pick it up like you're going to hit him. I can lay down. Lay down, I can. Actually, I can, I can get out. No, man. Just get out. That's better. But, all right. Um. So now we got everything crushed up. Mm-hmm. We got everything crushed. Don't you move. Get back in there. Why the hell it got to be so dramatic? <laughs> what the hell? The hell it got to be... <laughs> Don't the hit hell? Please don't hit Yeah, the hell? Yeah. All right. Here we are. So now we got the chip. We got our meat. We got our... I want to make sure y'all can see our bag. So make get everything out the way. Slide them uh, pickles to the end. We got that. We got that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So and put that to your side. Here, here, all this. This is all the pixie dust right here. You gonna put them on first, or you gonna put them no, on? No, I'm just putting them all in one thing. Actually, so you gonna mix yours in this bag? Yeah. Well. All right, so show them. Let me even it out. Okay, right now, this this way more in here. You don't even like that much in yours. I don't like no much what. No, it ain't about no liking them. I'm just saying you could have survived. You could have survived, survived. Yeah, you did, did it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm just trying to even it out. This shit gonna be so cheesy. Like a bad movie. You always wanna even it out. You don't never want your people to think that you trying to uh, fuck over. Really, this too much. It's way too much. I can Bro. get out. Get out. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I can get back out. Get out the room. <laughs> Go. All right. You know what? I was what gonna whip it in the bag. But we're gonna let them see it. I'm gonna get it out before they can see it. What you want? I mean, uh, you, we gonna bust the bag like that? No, I ain't gonna bust the bag. Okay. Here go your cheese. Yep. Here go your cheese. I'm gonna do it this way. Usually, 
I'll put everything inside the bag and we'll rotate it in the bag, but for the purpose so y'all can see a little more up close and direct. So y'all can see what's going on. Yeah. We're gonna put everything in a pile. And we, we are using picante beef. Most definitely. Did you tell them what flavor uh 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 was on the receipt? Yeah. Picante beef. That's what I'm rocking with. But you had other shit on there too. Yeah, I had some regular beef. I had, you know, nigga want a very want a few variations there now and then. But also, you want to have different shit if you looking to trade. Nigga Fact. might have some. Fact. Yeah. I get me a honey bun or two, three sweets, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't a real big sweet eater. Mm. So I get me a few sweets for some transactions. You know, I bought cell phone time with Snicker Bar. That was mm. my shit. You get 15 minutes of item. Snicker bought two items that only cost a dollar though. So that's a dollar for 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah, I mean. So that, that's doing it, boy. Oh. Oh. So nigga doing, so. This is the baby mama do. That, that's the currency up in there. That's the currency. Yeah, food. Mm -hmm. Food is money. Food you is money. got the sugar right there. Okay. See everything I got in the little, small little pile right here. Small little pile. Yeah, I sure wish I could got them. You should go what? Could you go get a, uh, could you go get a, um, a bowl, a big bowl. You don't walk behind it because you might push it. Come to walk in front. Of um, can I uh, uh, uh just get a bowl out the uh, what you call it? Mm -hmm. Um, just find any type of bowl. Well, uh, how you running with it? Yeah, I'm good. On. I'll just so I'm just I'm just mixing right now. I'm just mixing. Well, he mixing his on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm a slap mix mine. You get a bowl with nothing in it. Just an empty bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Yep, yep. That water got cold now, too. Big hot. I mean, that would help. But well, we can put the whole bag in the microwave for real, for real. What's this for? Oh. Are right, you ready for water? Hold on. Yeah, wait, see, see what he's doing. You see he didn't pull his uh He didn't pull his pickle on there, chips, noodle, and he got meat on that bitch. And as you can see that bitch is extra meaty. Yes sir. Extra meaty. That but ain't number look quarter look, or something. Look, look how look how little the the soup is now with the chip in my bag. See how small? I guess y'all can't see that, but it's like that. That's it. That's all it is. That's about right. That's how. Ain't that fat either? That ain't gonna be much, but it's gonna do a job Ooh, though. Ooh, it's gonna do a job. It's gonna do more than that. And then, uh, and in another way, I had this thought. I told this nigga not to put a big ass cumps in that shit, man. This should be kind of like therapy too. This how a nigga wind down. This how you time. wind down. This you know how you wind like, down. This shit, now that nigga mixing and shit, that shit you coming cooking. back to him. Nah, you see that? I was dipping it. Pickle juice, you know what I'm saying? Pickle juice. Nigga might ask you for pickle juice and that be, you know, pickle juice well, that bit. And I ain't coming up off of mine. Let me get a little tip, let me get a little tip. Mm. Get that, all right. How you spit like that? You do want, how to, look, uh, go pour that out and then get us a, uh, and let that hot water run for a little minute and then pour it up in there, mm -hmm. and then pour it up in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we eat. Now, what he forgot though, that we had beans. Who forgot? We forgot we had beans. We had beans. From, from, uh, from dinner. So I put the beans on the top so that heat is gonna soften them back up. Yep, because they're gonna, they gonna be cold. Yeah, they should have been sitting in the cup. They've been sitting in the cup since goddamn. In a uh, bag like this. Anything, anything to store them shit. Yep. So what you'll do is take your tray, take your bowl. Down. When it's time to eat. When it's time to eat, you'll you'll take your bowl out your cell and um take your bowl out your cell and go and put the um and take that down there with you. And then if you know it's something on that tray that you're gonna wanna take back for tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. You don't need all that. Alright, so I got my pick, I got my meat in here. Now I'm gonna put my, and here she come with the water. You got the little scooper? With the water, water. Yes, I do got the scooper. You put it right here. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's steaming water. Ooh. That mean we that that mean and, and, and it's also it's hard to get that sale. Oh, that's cool. It's all it's hard to get that sale where they got the hot hot, hot water. water. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You, you gotta knock on nigga door. You you can't just go in a nigga cell because they got the hot water. They ain't your fucking water. Unless so you, you got, got real. You got a hot. What you, you mean? You some rank through that motherfucker. I mean, either either way it go, ain't about no common rank. courtesy. It's about still let a nigga know it, though. It's about respect all the way down to the board. Nigga, everybody want that hot water, but this is what I meant by the by the slap mix. See how he mix his in the. In the bag, you coming all around like this with it. Coming down like this with it. You use your four corners and you just press. Put it over there and you just pressing it down. Get you a good grip. You put your seeds in there? Oh yeah. What is what is what a pack at? So okay. I gotta open that one. Put it right here. Lay down. Oh yeah, coming on back around. Oh. Bring it around town. Oh, you coming around town. Now, as you can see, you got to see how much water he used. Mm -hmm. You gonna see him continuously watering his brick, making sure that it get the uh, H2O that it need to mm -hmm. do its potential, but you do not want a watery brick. That, that's gonna, that means you're gonna have to go back and you know you might have to you might have to use chip that, chip. you know what I'm yep. saying that, that you need it for tomorrow. And like I said, when you working with a budget, everything count. Everything. Everything count. So you don't want to. I you you rather have uh, too little water than too much water. Exactly. Because if you gotta pour some water out, that's your fucking flavor pouring out that motherfucker. Exactly. You don't want that yeah, flavor exactly. come out there. That bitch. water, once that juice get off that brick, it's pressure. Ooh, and that, yeah. that water touch that brick, what that, that flavor that finna hit that motherfucker? Yeah. But like I said, you know, that chip, you, you want that chip on that motherfucker real good because especially if you gon if the beans that the, that you had um wasn't like if you got beans because you might squish the bean and the beans make it harder to kind of lock up, whatever. And different people have different definitions of locked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of some of feel like goddamn that shit locked when it's you know what I'm saying. Motherfucker like eat it this, wet like, like that. This right you know what I'm saying? Some of them up that shit. Yeah. Motherfucker feel like that bitch ain't locked. That bitch is. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I want that straight drop. I, I, I do want it like that. I want straight that drop. Hard. I, I ain't with that. If I'm, if I'm gonna eat that whole like that, I might as well put that bitch in the motherfucking bowl and eat it with the you know straight, what I'm just straight with some, straight soup. Mess. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So nah, everybody got different opinions about what lock is. Uh, uh, you see, I done got it to a nice little quick consistency, kind of firm. Mm -hmm. Have to push down on it. See, now what you got to take into consideration is that these noodles still gonna cook. So all this. This wet stuff in here, you can have it a little wet before it cook because the noodle's still gonna absorb some of that water. Yeah. But you can always add water, you can't take water out. Or like he mm -hmm. said, you're taking flavor. Yep. So you wanna make sure you absolutely need water before you put some more up in there. Work that bitch, work it. That's all work it is. It. Work it, you might have some spots. Don't allow, talk to them about these corners. Talk you to got, that's, that's why I like to slap mine. Mm. I get to see everything in front of me. Yep. When you got them corners, that cheese will get down to them corners. When you got the bag, see, I'm doing the same. What you, what you, what he letting you see? I'm doing the same thing, but inside a bag. Yep. You see how I continues to push, push, grab. I'm squeezing. See, let me do it from the side so you can see. I'm pushing. I'm squeezing. I'm just doing. I'm just doing it with it. You know what I'm saying? So, Work oh, that bitch. yeah. So, um, and I, you know. Once you know how to do this, you know, you'll you'll find yourself doing regular dishes and this how you mix shit in. Mm -hmm. This how you mix now. You know what I'm saying? Push that shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Push that motherfucker. And sometimes you might, you know what I'm saying? You might get freaky with it and say, you know what? I need a little bit more moisture on this motherfucker. I'm gonna use the I'ma work that bitch in there. Yep. You don't use the pickle juice. You might wanna get freaky. When you see that you might need a little bit more, more. and see you're already feeling. See, you take your hands off that bitch for a second, 
Let it sit there for a second. Start to lose. And you you feel like it, all right, this motherfucker already starting to lock. You know what I'm saying? You me. cooking. You cooking. And what's helping you cook is the hot water. You want the water to be hot as possible. You want that shit, you know what I'm saying? It a lot with cold water. You with know time. what I'm saying? Cold water and time. Let me get that. Um so I'm about ready. I'm about ready for the incubation. Well, just a little whap whap. Just a whap. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that, and this how this is how you gonna measure shit in there. You gonna measure it with whap, whoops, you know what I'm saying? Whoop and a whap. Let me get a little sweet good. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a little pink to it. You Boom. can't go wrong with a whoop. Can't go wrong with a whoop. 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 Um, so we pushing, we pulling, we getting it together. Um you know, and this is the time when you speaking uh, to your cell about your case, you know, anything that happened that day, whatever like that. Like he said, this is definitely unwind time. This is definitely, um, you know, thinking time. When you put this damn brick in your hand, nigga, you gonna, oh, my fault. Uh, you gonna, you gonna have, nigga, you gonna have some relaxation because you moving something, you doing something. You know what I'm saying? You can actually, yeah, you can, you and can listen, lose the let me, train let, of thought. Let me speak, let me speak on etiquette right fast. My nigga, if you ain't got it, dog, if you ain't got it, this ain't, this, this, this is teamwork. This is teamwork as, as grown men. My nigga, if you ain't got it and your cellmate is letting you eat with him, my nigga, you supposed to be doing the cooking, my nigga. You supposed to be washing the dishes and shit like that, my nigga. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about nothing else but ain't no that. Nigga you know what I'm saying? He better than you. It ain't no that's better. just appreciation. That, that's that's just gratitude. Appreciation. That's, that's, that's being it. grown for real. Yep. It ain't. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta make no. You ain't gotta apologize to him for why you ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't gotta do nothing. You know, he ain't gotta. It's, it's, it's understood, my nigga. No, nah, I got this. If he gonna cook, okay. you at least, at the least, need to do the dishes. At the, and then at the very least, for and, real. And, and, and like the nigga, he shouldn't he shouldn't be cooking it. Yeah, he should offer to cook. He he shouldn't be cooking it. Let's goddamn, you know what I'm saying? He just, he just want to. to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's because you get some nigga, man. Because if, if nigga, if you come in and sell me and you ain't got no fucking money, and uh, and I'm cooking and cleaning the dishes that you eat with me, now nah, my nigga, I feel like you think I'm a bitch. Exactly. You must think I'm a girl. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like what? The, how the fuck this work, my nigga? Like you know what I'm saying? And and so it's. It, when you locked up, it's gonna be little shit like that. Niggas gonna expect for you to know the shit that they know. Now, of course, you ain't gonna know their lingo. You ain't gonna know how they do it, where he from. No, that shit. But you know, as far as jail go, you should have kept that bag. Being locked you up, spread your shit out. You gonna need it. Okay. I'm gonna show you something else too. Nigga, eat out the bag. Yeah, I get this. It ain't going nowhere. Ain't so really, at this point, once you done got your mixing process done, you done got enough liquid in there you want it, you done got it how you want it, everything in there even, it's time for the incubation process. I like to get as, as close to a source of heat as possible. If we're in the county jail, I'm going under the mat with it. You know what I'm saying? I heard in the mat they like to sit on the light or something like mm -hmm. that. Well, in prison, well, well. I'm fortunate enough to have a microwave, mm. so we're going straight to the box with it. Mm. Going to the box, put it on. You ain't got to put it on nothing heavy. You ain't really. You just want to heat it up and let it rise. Mm. Let me go get. Matter of fact, go give me about, about twenty five seconds. You something. think that's gonna? We gonna melt. Tell me gonna melt the plastic. Yeah. Nah. We gonna melt. Yeah. Right. I'm about twenty five seconds. That's right. Thirty seconds. Just to get close to you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing it. I'm staying through the phone. Look at that. I'm staying through the phone. Look at that. Man, that man, shit, street nigga going crazy right now. <laughs> that that nigga been going ready. Crazy. Shit, that that been going ready. Right <laughs> Watch out, them corners be though. Mm hmm. Watch out, them cones be. My thing I always get. Yeah, it. Go yeah, you gotta go back. My thing I always get. That shit ain't gonna do a goddamn thing to it. You gotta yeah. take two to form. You said it ain't do a thing to it? Mm -mm. You, know, you don't see how hot it is? Hey, so by the time this bitch cool back down, mm. this bitch gonna be ready. So mine might take 
three, four more extra minutes because yours are already thick now, but I want to mind my noodles and shit cooked all the way. When you get, when you be in Metro, okay, got the size of it right there. Yep. Mine a little more consolidated because I'm still in my incubation process. We all here. We both here. Pressure. You want some pressure on your shit? You kind of, you feel like you pushing it together some more? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just hit a book on top of my shit like that. It was flat like that. And then what it gonna look like too? Yep. You know, I used to take the bags. I used to take my bags and uh, could eat the bags you gonna have mm -hmm. and put them on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Just to put yep. some color in there, man. Yeah. Cause don't don't the wall be so droll and shit like that. And, and you know they say that the Damn. wall, the wall is the reason why you can't remember shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why your mind be blank. And you can't think of no song. What the fuck that second verse was? Nah, but it's just because everything oh, like is bland. Just erase your mind. But, um, so now they wait. And so when we come back to y'all, they're going to be ready to eat. The moment of truth. See y'all in a minute. All right, now we've um, obviously let them sit. We cleaned our table. Um, now there's questions to be asked. Um, how do you get your burrito, your brick, out of your bag without fucking it up and turning it back to soup? Um, easily. Uh, could I get my executive producer to get us two forks, two plastic forks out of the kitchen area? Now, as she's getting that, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go first. Break them down. It's the unveiling of it. Mm -hmm. For starters, just want you to get a good look of the size of about enough for a personal pan. Ain't been mushed out of nothing. But the important part is the density. Yeah, that? That's drop. What you call drop. If it don't sound like that, it ain't done yet. Mm. Look up under the, they look right up under the, uh, the dishes. And if you get two plates of force up under the, uh, up under the, uh, the red thing. Right, just put that cabinet out right there, the top drawer. So, that's how it's supposed to look too. Yep. So as you bring it up out of there, see when it when it don't got. I wish y'all could see this. I need y'all to see the top of this shit, man. When it don't got too much more. Put your shit. hand up, up under it so they can see what the top looks like. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you was in there watching them all. Mm -hmm. We got a good example producer. Oh, look at that. You see that? Same Show them the top one. Top, top Just right now, you can you can press it out from here and put it in a type of way, portion it out. I hate these type of forks. She got the smallest forks in that one for mm -hmm. I want a strong fork. Okay, now you see, yeah. So he just he yeah, just got it out. Just put it whatever shape you want to put it in. Show him the new shape. All right, you get it all. You get it all. However flat you want it. If you want thick pieces, then you leave it thick. Mm. You want it to look like you got a little more, then you mash it out. It's all on you. It's a preference thing. Oh yeah, it's official. Man. I never liked this. See that? Look at that. They going it's crazy. They all stay together. They going crazy. I stay there. That's real brick. That's real brick right there. Don't show them what you're working <laughs> with, man. Now, if you're doing it out, now, one thing you gotta remember is, now, you gonna be, when you locked up, you gonna have a smaller bag and it's gonna be thinner. And that's that's perfect because it's gonna be thicker. When I say, all right, so, the, yo, 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 yeah, the whip is not gonna be as wide. So you gonna have, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna make your, um, your burrito thicker. Now, this how you get this one out. You want to get separated, separate the, the bag from the burrito, and let that motherfucker slide on out. Yes, sir. Ain't no better feeling than that motherfucker slide, but yeah, ain't no work. Ain't no, oh, 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 it's not like you trying to give me advice, my nigga motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see what you're doing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you trying to goddamn get it down. All right, hold on. There they Ain't no better feeling than feeling that bitch slide all in one piece. Ain't no worse feeling than feeling that bitch break apart. <laughs> well, I did. I did. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, uh, then. 
Yes, yeah, so. And I was thinking we ain't, I ain't put enough on that bitch. But yes, yeah, so. And, and what you gonna see is, look at how that damn, look at how the pickles, look at how the pickles. See, yeah, I, I want- He's a jury right now. On, come on, uh, executive producer. Come, come grab it. Uh, no, 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 no. Just come grab it. Come grab it, put your hands up on it, and bam, and put it right in front of the camera so they can see a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're leaning in. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you want it to look. Lean it in some more for him. Be close to the camera. Oh, yes, sir, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Nah, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you All, right. You All right, so now we got that ready. Got you a couple crackers. This, 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 this a feast right here. Right. You got crack, nigga, it's a feast. It's a delicacy. What you got going right there now? Oh, I just had to save me a little chips in my bag because I like it. I like the little Ooh. crunch a little bit, so I just come sprinkling them on the top. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little crunch. Extra tool. flavor. Yeah, a little extra, little minor crunch besides the pickle. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas might come over the top and hit it with mustard. Most so, I don't for that. But some niggas, I ain't seen niggas do some disgusting shit like put mayonnaise on it. I done did it. I fucks with the mayo on the brick. I can't believe that. I That's fucks crazy. With the mayo. Then I don't even eat it on the street for real, but. I guess that's my yeah. older nigga was yeah. in. Anything to change the flavor, you with it. I, I don't, I, I, I like the flavor, but uh, I mean, but have to eat this bit for 365 yeah, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't fuck, I, I don't catch up, I don't understand it. But ranch, obviously, that's gonna rock out. That's your name, uh, man. Uh, what, huh? Obviously, oh, but it's not, it don't taste like that. I mean, I, I take mayonnaise, I'm just saying mayonnaise on this. I take mayonnaise on goddamn, on a sandwich, you know what I'm saying? But um, this, this how it is, man. This how it is, and so this, and this what you gonna eat? Uh, you know, you ain't gonna have no drink in that bitch. But by this time, you and that bitch, you know what I'm saying? You you understand? You ain't gonna have no drink. Niggas that drink sodas in that motherfucker, that mean you got something going on. Yeah, and you got something going on. Let me get a sip of that. You know what I'm saying? They want a little sip of the sprite. It's gonna be hot. I swear, no ice ain't like nothing cold. Mother, gonna be hot, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. After that, man, you can uh, I, you know, some niggas break they shit uh, in half so they can eat it better, and they put it in a bowl and eat it. You I know never understood saying? that. I be wanting my shit in form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking back like a soup. Look, look at that. You bring that up like a real slice right first, there. First, yep. First, real slice. Try, I'm hoping y'all can see this shit. I'm eating the corner first. That where the cheese at? Mm -hmm. You went straight for the goddamn jack. Right? Mm -hmm. One, one bite, one kill. Nah, we what we gonna do is to see who holds down the bear. We gonna ask our executive producer to take a taste of both hours, and she gonna tell us which one is rocking out the best. Who really know what they doing? So let's both cut a slice, and she gotta close her eyes and come here. Hmm. 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 Here we go. All right, get, take your piece. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, she's trying to look, she's trying to look. All righty then. All right, now turn around. All right, now. <laughs> now, take a piece, take, take a bite. Okay, she, she eating it, she eating it. She just took a bite of the first one. The first one is on the, oh. well, what? the one that's not on the Cheeto bag. And I just finna take a bite of the second one. Mm. Uh -oh. Which one do you think? I 
Okay, then. So now she said the one that's on the Cheeto bag, and that's the one I made. <laughs> that's the one I made. Just like that. That's the one I made. That's you got a big dog. That's the one I made. <laughs> What, what what was good about the second one? I mean, both of them taste good. Yeah, yeah. But that one, the first one had more seasoning. Mmm. Mm. You put more seasoning than me? I guess so. I guess you just emptied the pack like whatever. No, I, I had because I had more, more chip. I had more chip. You had more chip? Yeah, I did. I, I gave you the chip. Mm, that's why you, you come out. Yep. But they're real food right here. So, you know, that's how it's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? Once you age it a couple of times, you're going to obviously get tired of it like everything else. Um, make your own little variation of it. Exactly. Um, you can whip you up a, 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 a fast one right fast. Mm -hmm. You know, however. Um, I'm trying my I theme mine on whatever we have. And if we have something I like. Right. We have taco, I'm gonna save a shell. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna save a shell. Mm -hmm. Whatever little topping they have for the taco, they're gonna be on my brick for the oh. night. You know what I'm saying? We come back, we have goddamn red beans and rice. Shit, I'm gonna have the rice in that motherfucker with them red beans. Yeah. I have red beans and rice brick. Mm -hmm. However, that's yeah. how we run. So, you gonna make it, man. You gonna make it. Just the eating part. Nope. You know, as far as all the other shit go to them other channels, I fuck with Big Hurt Prison Channel. I fuck with West Washington Prison Channel. Uh, I fuck OG OG Badger Prison Channel. Um, it's Andre dude. Wade. Andre Wade. Um, uh, it's another dude, another white dude, a crip white dude from uh from Texas. It's a white dude from New York. Um, shout yeah. out to On the Lockout, On the Lockout War, War. Um. You know, we watch these things in the, in the, uh, in the, um, once you get out, you watch these things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You watch these after prison program. Um, you might not watch it every day, but sometimes you just peek in. Nope, and, um, and that nigga, and that nigga, shout out to Hurt, man, because Hurt put a lot of niggas on. The first time niggas seen Wes Washington, it was on Hurt Show. First time niggas see OG Badger, it was on Hurt Show. A lot of them, up, and there's another dude too, um, Somebody named In Descendants, they got a dude named 23 and 1. Mm -hmm. yep. um, there's a lot of people. And some of them motherfuckers, like, I watch all of them. I'll watch them and, and see, like, all right, so I, I don't really fuck with him like that, but I'll give him a chance. Um, some of them, you can tell that, because everybody going to come out saying, you know, win, lose, or draw, man. Fucking, yeah. you got to fight, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Yeah, but but you gonna get a lot of that in there anyway. A lot of niggas lying and shit like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of then you come home like to be honest, like I I don't want to even say it. Hurt is a real one. Wes is a real one. Um, I, a lot of them is real ones and shit like that. But it's just like I don't know, man. That, that when it come down to that violent shit, man, a lot of motherfuckers. You lying? Yeah, like they and it, I, I, I don't know, man. It, it, I don't know. You want some water? I don't know. But um, <laughs> I appreciate y'all for coming in, man. Uh, by the way, you come on. Come on. By the way, yeah. that, this was mine over here too. Just for niggas yeah, that didn't know. Yeah, y'all just bullshit. Not, that was his. He, uh, he made the good one. He made the one that she chose. Um, it was um, you'll have that. People are like they shit, whatever, like that. But you know, go in there, do your time, do your thing. And handle business. The next, if y'all fuck with this one, mm -hmm. then we all gonna do one on a doo wop. Mm -hmm. That's the sweets, you know, with the honey bun and all that shit like that. But if y'all don't fuck with this, then we are gonna go ahead and end it and do something else. But if y'all fuck with this, we'll do mm -hmm. something else. But we not doing, we not doing no prison channel. This ain't no fucking prison channel. Hell um, no. <laughs> don't know what I'm saying like I, I salute them boys to do that, but we got we, we doing other shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Make sure you go to Brim D channel. Um, he gonna he gonna enlighten you on a lot of shit that you really need to talk about, especially if you're going anywhere near a gang bang. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a gang a gang member <laughs> or anything within the street. Really, pretty much outside of a gang. If you just going, if you this how this how the shit complement each other. 
Katrina broke this down one time. She said, my channel is for motherfuckers when they first coming into their consciousness. This is how you need to be spoken to. And then, you know, Katrina is more elegant and she'll, you know, get you in higher living and then you go from there. But this is really the bottom. This is the, the, this the crease. This the line between good and bad. This is when you first go from bad to good, trying to get to goddamn. When you but first, all you know is bad. All you know is bad. This is when you first come home from prison. Them niggas, and I, 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 I'm not gonna make it about. I love prison channels. I fuck with them and shit like that. But this ain't no prison channel. Like I'm not gonna tell you about prison, nigga. I'm telling you about real life and how to move forward. Um, he gonna speak to you on some shit like, um, if. Nigga, if you if you just still teetering and tottering on that line, and you in the street, you really need to, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, go over there. Be aware, because, because that's, that's where it happened to it's, you. It's, it's, nigga, that's, that's where it's going to happen to you when to you, you straddling the goddamn fence, nigga. The niggas that want to get out of the street be the niggas that get stuck in the street. Yep. Niggas that's in the street head first, them be the niggas that, that survive for a long right. time until they just get took all the way out of there. Mm -hmm. But they have a nigga, you might have a 15-year career for a nigga that don't give a fuck about yep. change. But as soon as you start thinking about some other shit, some positive shit, yeah, that's when you need to know where you at and what you doing. Your energy ain't mixing with the street. Fact. And it's going to show. Yep. It's going to show. It's going to show. Niggas going niggas to gonna act different. Yep. The law don't like niggas that's playing nope. both sides. They nope. rather you be a whole nigga that's going to run yep. before you be a nigga that they got a dirty background that's going to sit there and talk to them. And like, talk to them. They don't like that shit. No. They want you to be dirty. That's why I told nigga, if you a felon or... Nigga, if you look like, nigga, if you look like a street nigga and you in a, and you in a gangster car, nigga, mm -hmm. and you, but you clean, <clears throat> but you all good, every, every like, life and registration, no warrant, none of that shit, nigga, you ain't never gonna get no ticket. You will never get a ticket because they gonna be so sure <clears throat> that you got something on you that they're gonna be like, you tell them, nigga, it's on you to let them search the car or not. If you feel like, you know, fuck, I haven't fucked with them tonight. Let them search the car and act like something in the trunk. Act like you scared. You know what I'm mean? saying? But that's the thing that you can do when, when you know you clean. When you clean. Yep. You can, nigga, you can act like something in the trunk and, and let them search it and, and whatever. Or you can just say, no, you can't search nothing and let them niggas get a warrant only for them to search the car and ain't nothing in that motherfucker. But, right. but make sure that you cover all bases on some shit like you got cameras in your car. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them drop no shit in your fucking car because you can fuck with them motherfuckers mm -hmm. to the point where goddamn they, they plant some on you. They fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't don't play. Don't play. Yeah, don't get too many funny ideas unless yeah. you know you are unless legit. You, unless, and, and, and not even just that, like, nigga, make sure that your family know you legit. Fact. So if they do put some shit on you, it's like, hold on, whoa. That man, I, that man been changed their life. That been changed. They can have this shit. Uh, you, yeah, he ain't leave nothing. What I kind did. of? I said that on top of each other. Double layer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, double down. layer. But thank y'all so much for fucking with us. Um, we all gonna do this shit again. Um, we'll be um, if y'all fuck with um this episode, we're gonna do the doo wop shit. Make sure you go to Brim D page. Um, executive producer. We'll get her page out in a minute. It'll be in the description box. Y'all know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Go to the Patreon. Go to the PayPal. Cash out. Fuck with this shit. I'll see y'all in a minute.